like um, Davis Kalumbi, the Acting Education Secretary for the United Church of Zambia. I want to welcome you to the Education Department of the United Church of Zambia. And the main purpose of our meeting this morning is to look at uh, the nitty gritties of the exchange visits that are between Kazan Kisan and uh, Kafue Boys Secondary School on one hand and Dinjasa Girls uh, on the other hand. The, this exchange visits started uh, a long time ago and uh, the main purpose is to exchange ideas, academic ideas, as well as uh, the social issues uh, pertaining to German as a nation and Zambia as a nation. Uh, basically, the, the pupils that are sent to German are those who are conversant with uh, the culture here in Zambia and also they must be uh, are blessed with uh, uh, the, the, the tourism sites and anything that would be of interest to the Germans. If I want to, uh, I, uh, let me take this opportunity to give you some little historical background. We are all aware that um, the world dreaded German because of the wars that existed in yesteryears. And because of that, most of the countries, particularly African countries, never wanted to hear the word German. The moment you mention German, they only think of the First and Second World Wars, and Hitler in particular. And that uh, hurt the Germans because the perception which people had towards the country itself, German, was that of war. And because of that, the German government decided to come up with a number of NGOs. And these basically were meant to sensitize the world uh, that they, are, they were not as bad as uh, they think. And uh, because of that, they came up with organizations and uh, also requested schools that were interested in partnering with schools in the other uh, countries. And in this case, Zambia is one of the countries that were enlisted. And um, the relationship began when Mr. Lehman was the head at uh, Gersman And uh, the relationship is such, is such that our two schools, Kafiwa Boys Secondary School and Injase, we will send two pupils and a teacher per year. That means four pupils, two from each of our schools, and the two teachers, uh, one from each of the two schools. They will go there for three weeks. Um, then uh, there is always a reciprocal visit by the Germans. Normally they are around between 10 and uh, 15 uh, pupils or learners, and two teachers as well. So, like uh, for this year, we have um, a teacher from Kafiwa Boys by the name of Mr. Kostin Gambwe, who will be traveling with two pupils, Mapalo um, Rwanda and uh, Emmanuel Taonga Ludaka. Then um, from Jase, we will have Douglas Smonda accompanying Jesse Luyando Makwelele, uh, Christine Biemba Chalo, and uh, yeah, and those are the two people that will come from Jase going to, to Germany. What happens when you go to Germany? They, they, they prepare a program. Our learners will be learning with the Germans. Um, 
the unfortunate part is that most of the lessons in German are in German language. Uh, English is only taught as a foreign language for communication purposes only. And therefore you only learn in English when you are learning uh, English, which is used more or less like a communication tool. But um, I think the approach to English teaching in German is better than the way we, we do it here. Because we need to understand that English is just a language like any other language. But in our case, we have taken it as if it is a key subject. Without it, then you are doomed. If you can't speak well, then you are not educated. Um, and I learned, the time when I went there in 2013, I learned something significant about this, the way they use English. In most cases, they want to approach it from the communication point of view. How do you, for example, you go to a new place, how do you start uh, friendships? Who begins and how do you begin when you meet people for the first time? Which we we do not include in our curriculum here in Zambia. And uh, because of that, they will be learning, they will be teaching actually in German. And um, a few individuals, I think those that are closer to where our students are, will be able to interpret it in, in English. That is basically, and then after lessons, every day, they do make a program of side uh, viewing. You are taken to different places to go and see this, how does this work. In the night, sometimes they take you for creation uh, activities. It's uh, quite interesting. The same applies to them when they come here. Um, they will be learning with our pupils. And in the afternoons, particularly in the afternoons and weekends, we also take them around to a number of places that they would wish to, to see. And sometimes, like at Cafe Boy, sometimes we also take them for a boat cruise because as a school we have a boat, a speedboat. And so those are some of the activities. If there is a soccer, we can organize the soccer. They participate, those that participate in volleyball, they will go for volleyball. Those that participate in netball, they will go for netball. And that is basically what goes on. And I, so the very purpose is a simply academic exchange as well as the social cultural uh, exchange. The first thing uh, that we consider is those that had the highest marks at, for example, at grade 9. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the ones that are accepted are those that are above 16. Bearing in mind that there is a child trafficking. And so the German government would not want to have those that are below 16. Uh, they will be taken as if they have been trafficked. And so we will pick those that performed exceptionally well. At